to the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcus Jr. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the groundbreaking ceremony of the Samal Island Davao City Connector Project, being led by His Excellency President Ferdinand R. Marcus Jr., assisted by Vice President Sara Z. Duterte, DPWH Secretary Manuel Bonoan, Special Assistant to the President Secretary Antonio Lagdameo Jr., Davao City Mayor Sebastian Z. Duterte, and Island Garden City of Samal Mayor Al David T. Uy. You are now witnessing the turning over of uh, the newspaper, the blueprint, which will be placed inside our time capsule. Now the coins are being turned over as well. We're now sealing and closing the time capsule. About to witness the lowering of our time capsule. We are now witnessing the lowering of the time capsule. Let's give it a big round of applause, everybody. And now we turn over the shovels to the President of the Republic of the Philippines, along with the Vice President and the rest of the party. They are now to cover up the capsule. Let's give it a big round of applause, everyone. The rest of the party gets their chance to the ceremonial covering of our time capsule. Everybody, let's give it a big round of applause one more time. We may now request uh, the president and the party to kindly remove their hard hats and their shovels. Please return them. Thank you very much, Mr. President. At this point, Mr. President, may we also present to you a diorama of the SIDC Bridge. This is the diorama for the Samal Island Davao City Connector Project, a 3.98 kilometer bridge crossing the Pakiputan Strait that will connect the island garden city of Samal and Davao City. The bridge shall reduce the travel time from 50 minutes to just four and a half minutes from Davao City to Samal Island.
How about we join our hands together, everybody? Thank you, Mr. President. May we invite the President on stage for the program. We may now all be seated. May I request everyone to please stand. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome with a round of applause the President of the Republic of the Philippines, Ferdinand Romaldos Marcos, Jr. Thank you very much. Uh, to our Vice President, Vice President Sala Duterte. Uh, alam ko pinatayo kayong lahat, but I think it's okay to sit down now. The, His Excellency, our good friend, the Ambassador of the People's Republic of China to the Philippines, His Excellency Wang Xilian, to whom we must extend our congratulations for the successful conduct of the Communist Party Conference uh, just concluded and uh, we look forward to uh, building upon the directions that your president, that President Xi Jinping has given to the People's Republic of China in partnership with the Philippines. We look forward to continuing to strengthen and to bring closer our two countries. Public Works and Highways uh, Secretary Mani Bunuan, the other members of the cabinet, your excellencies, Davao City Mayor Baste Duterte, the uh, City of Samal Mayor Al David Uy, our, my fellow workers in government, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. I congratulate of course, the Department of Public Works and Highways, its development partners, and all the people of the Dabao region, including the LGUs involved, as we gather here today for the groundbreaking ceremony of the Samal Island Dabao City Connector Project. Once completed, this bridge will help us develop the economic potential of Dabao City and the island garden of, of the city of Samal, as well as enhance its residents' access to employment, education, and other services. It is uh, for us to express also our gratitude to the government of the People's Republic of China, as they were an active member and have always been a dependable partner in this infrastructure development program. This is not the only project that uh, we have depended upon, the concessional loans and uh, even uh, grants from uh, the government of the People's Republic of China. And you can, we, it, is clearly, it is clear to see the benefits that those projects bring to our people, to our economy, and to the Philippines. It is a testament, this, this is a testament to the strong an ever-growing foundation of the bilateral relations and cooperation between our two countries. It is always a pleasure as a nation to join hands with you for the eventual success of this endeavor. Through your assistance and the efforts of the Depart Department of Public Works and Highways, this bridge will soon accommodate up to 25,000 vehicles daily and reduce travel time between Samal and Davao from 50 minutes to just four and a half. In 2027, this bridge 
will surely ease the convenience of travel and transport, bringing forth gainful opportunities for many of our people by providing a link between relatively far-flung far, far areas and economic centers. Thereby, we ensure smoother mobility of people and of goods. It will provide easier access to tourism spots and ensure the speedy recuperation from the setbacks brought about by the pandemic. I also believe that through this project, we will further improve peace and the peace and order situation in the area, as well as ensure the faster and more efficient aid distribution during times of calamities. As the government's engineering and construction arm, I must underscore the important role of the Department of Public Works and Highways, not only ensuring the completion of this project, but also in the broader task of nation building. It is therefore, it is therefore my co always constant instruction to your agency to remain steadfast in building a more interconnected Philippines. Through the continued construction of short and long span bridges across the country, we can boost regional transport and spur economic development and competitiveness in the countryside. At this juncture, I, am, uh, I would also like to explain that this is, I am only the fortunate uh, to, have been, uh, to have been sitting as president when we broke ground for this very important project. This project actually was formally begun by then Secretary Mark Villar under the Duterte, the Duterte administration and it began uh, formally to put together the project since 2018. So the previous administration has al had already been working on uh, this uh, project for four years before we arrived to this day. However, I am looking forward to also, once again, being the lucky one to open the bridge when it is finished. We credit this project to all the people, though, both past and present, who have worked very hard to realize this grand infrastructure, for it is through the efforts of very many people working very, very hard, and their compounded efforts that we will soon harvest fruits that will benefit all. Ladies and gentlemen, as your leader, whose mandate is predicated upon the message of hope and of unity, let me underscore the significant message that is also encapsulated in this occasion. Let this bridge affirm this administration's commitment and resolve to become a sturdy and purposeful link that bridges gaps between physical and geographical barriers, but also the various social structures that need to be connected and fortified as one. Regardless of our individual strengths or merits, we will achieve nothing if we continue to permit divisions that halt us from connecting with each other. Let us continue the great work of coming together and let the changing power that will result from our energy give rise to the realization of our dreams of a strong, prosperous, and truly united Filipino nation. To that day, we can all look forward to. Maraming salamat at mabuhay po kayo lahat. Magandang umaga po sa inyo. Thank you, Mr. President. At this point, may we request the President to kindly grant us a photo opportunity in four batches. For our batch number one, may we call on stage the DPWH officials and the SIDC project.